Hello, welcome to this video Hibernate programmatic configuration with Namaming from CodeJava.net. In this uh, video, you will learn how to use uh, programmatic configuration for Hibernate framework instead of using XML configuration. So, here are the benefits of using Hibernate programmatic configuration. Uh, no XML config. That means you don't have to use uh, the XML file hybrid.cfg.xml anymore. And it's very quick and easy uh, to code the configuration inside a Java class. And most importantly, uh, hybrid programmatic configuration allows the application to be able to change a database dynamically at runtime. However, Hybrid programmatic configuration also has some drawbacks as the configuration is hard coded uh, in the Java file, then any changes uh, require a recompilation of your code. Now, let's see uh, an example of hybrid programmatic configuration. First, you need to create an instance of the configuration class and then uh, you set uh, properties for hibernate as usual as you can see here we set uh, several properties a jdbc driver uh, database connection url database username database password database dialect uh, for annotated model classes use uh, the add annotation sorry add annotated uh, class method to specify a model class uh, which is uh, annotated and then you open the session factory from the config view session factory and open the session from the session factory and uh, perform operation on the session object and finally close the session and session factory so that's very simple to use hybrid programmatic configuration. Now let's see how to use uh, programmatic configuration for an existing hybrid project. As you can see here in my Eclipse IDE, this uh, hybrid uh, project, you see uh, here, uh, we use the uh, hybrid.cfg.xml uh, file. And this is the content of the Hypnet uh, XML configuration. And now let's uh, replace this XML configuration with a uh, programmatic configuration using uh, Java code. And this is a uh, book, is a model class, and book manager is a main application. This is a model class. You see that maps to the book uh, table in the database suite. For fields, ID, title, auto, and price, and nothing special. It's a very normal uh, annotated model class, and this is a main program that uh, perform cloud operations, uh, create, uh, update, delete, uh, list, get. First, we uh, let's run this program to make sure that it is still working uh, normally with Hibernate XML configuration. If she is a if she is a XML configuration here, Hibernate XML configuration. Okay, now let's run this program to list all the books in the table in the database. No one has. Java application and you can see it uh, uh, prints uh, three uh, books here book ID 2, book ID 5, book ID uh, 6 ok uh, this is a setup method that Create a session factory. Now we delete this method, delete the code in this method, 
and use a programmatic configuration create a new configuration object config equal new configuration and set property set property you can copy the properties here hamlet dot connection dot driver underscore class value is com not my sql dot jdbc dot driver because uh, my application use uh, my sql database and similarly uh, set properties for other entries here correction url correction username correction password so you can copy and paste hamlet dot connection dot url you can copy the zdbc url here and paste to the code here connection dot user uh, user user root Username, sorry. This property is username and password. And we need to set dialect for the database. Let's see. The dialect for my SQL database is org.hypnet.dialect my SPL dialect org.hypnet.dialect my SQL dialect and we also need to set the property to show the SQL statement which you have net dot show underscore SQL I dot show underscore SQL to choose so that's the properties for the correction and now let's specify the annotated model class add annotated class here in this project the model class is book okay In uh, this setup method, I create a session factory uh, which is, is then used by other methods you see here. So, in this method, we simply uh, create a session factory assign session factory equal config new session factory. That's it. And now let's uh, run this program again. Book manager. You see, it prints the same result using Hamlet uh, programmatic configuration. And now we can uh, simply delete the Hamlet.clg.xml file here. Delete. Okay. You see no more uh, xml configuration for hybrid we use only uh, programmatic configuration now let's test program again uh, now we test to read or record from the database with book id 2 here I'll run the program You see, it uh, 
print book ID2 here. Very good, right? So that's how to use a hybrid programmatic configuration for your uh, project. It's very simple, you see. Very simple to use hybrid programmatic configuration. Thank you for watching.